thumb version? Yeah, and then that one's going to go... This one's going to go straight through. Yeah, the one's going to bend down. I'm trying to build a, uh, <laughs> a lens out of, like, two old ones that are like that. <laughs> right, yeah. And to put them close together and join them yeah. online. Exposure. So tell me what exposure. Um, well, it's the amount of light that's allowed to fall on the medium. Okay. So, so the medium is like the thing you're taking a picture of? Yes. Okay. It's, so there's like three, like you can't just pick like I want a certain amount of exposure and go with it. Right. You have to manipulate three different things on your camera in order to get it. And okay. Kind of like a rain bucket, I guess. Because like you, if you put it out, you don't want to collect too much or too little, so you have to like get the right way of cut it for the right amount of time and de decide how much you want it to be put in it. To be put in it. Right. So yeah. So if you and the three things are the aperture, the ISO, and um, shutter speed. Mm, okay. So those Sweet. three things together give you cool. I like how it's ours, but we can just do what we want with it. Well, Moodle, Mr. Fogarty writes all the notes and does everything. We just we can just look at it. Everyone has access to it. We can look at it. But this, everyone has access to it. That's in the class, and we can do what we want with it. It's like ours. And Mr. Fogarty can do stuff with it too, except it's it's more uh, open, I guess, more shared. You can connect to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's really great for us Everything because, especially with Fogarty and China and whatnot, he can, like, put stuff on it, and we can look at it, and he doesn't need to be here to show us, because we can just access it from our own home computers and all that kind of stuff, or from the computers at school, so it's it's really accessible. I like how you can all write on it. I like how you don't need to save it. Yeah, that's nice, too, because you can exit it by accident. It means have it picture by picture as opposed to the actual what we want the video. I'm saying if the video, if that's what if you want to give a video of pictures, it's well, like, the same thing. Or like a pop we could actually do a PowerPoint. And we well, can just you can do the really slow trailer, yeah, like instead you, of ha we can have like one image and then the image well, yeah, you can see color. like how do you how does your perception of this picture change as it changes color? That's what I mean. And you could go to yellow to blue to red to green. If, to if we did a PowerPoint, we could hook it up to a projector and we could shine the projector through like lenses, right? And we could manipulate it that way too. Then have it change color slowly, yes. You yeah, the, like gradually. Viewfinders can't do that. No, viewfinders well, can't. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like my definition okay. of the camera, I'm not I guess. saying, like, we use an actual viewfinder. I'm saying we could engineer something that would basically be, like, a slideshow, but with a viewfinder, kind so, of which one, like, which one gets a better result? Does a smoother transition make them feel more at ease or less at ease? Like, does a quick transition make them feel better about it or worse about it? You don't want to have, like, the picture up have it blue and then all of a sudden it's yellow. I think you want to have some black space in between it, otherwise they're just like, well, it was it was sad a second ago. I like how it's well-rounded. Mm -hmm. just, this is science and it has nothing to do with the real world. And it makes us actually come up with something, like instead of just do this this way using these steps. It's right. not just about learning objective facts, it's about learning skills, how to think and how to function on your own, because there's not a teacher holding your hand. Okay, you have to have this done by this day, and make sure drafts like this. It's, you actually have to figure out how to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, like I work in a theater, and we use a lot of this sort of science for, for lighting. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I think it's really cool that I'm actually like, learning the specifics of it, not just practical applications. Well, we're doing an experiment. We have an idea. We're going to add tint to, diff to the same picture. Right. Then we're going to go out and we're going to ask a bunch of students okay. to see if they associate a different emotion with the different tints. Mm -hmm. We're going to gather our information and then we're going to show it off at the art night in our HL picture and the different tints. We're going to analyze it. We're going to see if our idea is correct. Different tints of a picture will uh, provide different, will uh, stimulate a different emotion.